Hey guys, Scott here again, picking up on the Jumpstart Pro demo uh, where we left off, and that is that you have the full site built for you, uh, the default widgets and sliders and content, everything is in place. So in this video, I'm going to go through real quickly and show you how to change a few things up or turn things on and off. Uh, the first thing that I want you to notice is that I've paused the slider widget. You see it's not rotating through, uh, and it now requires a manual advance on each of the slides. So the way I did that was I could just go to the WordPress admin. Uh, I'm going to refresh everything here so you'll see when you just first go to the WordPress admin what uh, things look like here. So I can go over to just click dashboard there. So this is the default view and I would click on CE4 here uh, which is the click bump theme that all my products are built on top of. That's Express, Engine, and BizLocal all right on top of this core WordPress theme which is uh, called CE4. <clears throat> so uh, I can scroll down here to the miscellaneous <clears throat> excuse me the miscellaneous section and I can see that I have the slider widget enabled along with jQuery which is required for it to operate and I've also got pause slider enabled here. So if I want to unpause it I can just uncheck that. Uh, while I'm here you can also adjust the duration between slide advances so the default is uh, and this time is in milliseconds the default is seven seconds which would be seven thousand milliseconds so if I want to make this ten seconds uh, I could just enter ten thousand which again ten thousand milliseconds is ten seconds so I could just enter that there and click save changes and now when I go back to the website and click refresh now it's going to count 10 seconds between slide advance so it gives you a little bit more time to focus on the content before it advances so you see there it advanced and if I were to uh, just hover my mouse over the slider it would pause for the duration while I've got my mouse pointer over it so that gives a reader time to maybe pause the animation in order to read the content that you got on the slider so that gives you a quick uh, introduction to how to modify the uh, the timing and the advancement of the slider. You can obviously modify the content of the slider. Uh, if I go to widgets here under appearance and expand the header sidebar, you can see that uh, the two widgets inside the header are the search box as well as the slider widget. So if I want to modify anything in that, I'm just going to pull this out so I can see more of the content here then I could just go into this and change the title my slide title for example and I can change the image that's referred or I can just upload an image file name slide1.png and that will become the image that shows up on the first slide uh, I can edit the uh, headline for the uh, this is the headline this is the slide headline and I can also edit the content here so you can see it's pretty simple just to uh, enter this information quickly and just click save here and the slider once I refresh it you can see it changed to the content that I had put in my slide title and this is the slide headline so that's it gives you a quick overview of how you can do that and again it's really simple to turn it on or off adjust the timing uh, of it and change the content so let's say I want to remove the slider altogether so I'm gonna go back into CE4 and I'm gonna go down to the miscellaneous section and I'll just deselect both of these options jQuery and enable slider widget and click save changes and now when I refresh my screen no more slider widget so it's just that easy I can enable or disable it at the click of a button and all my settings are still retained between those two options again click save changes I've just re-enabled it and it's back and it's got the same content I had before so you can see it's very simple to do that just turn it on turn it off 
everything you've got accessible there under the CE4 admin section.